Hey everyone, Giancarlo Verney here at BlizzCon 2010. I'm joined by Julian Love and Jason Bender from Blizzard. We're here to talk a little bit about a, a little game called Diablo 3. Now you guys, you announced a brand new class here at the show, the Demon Hunter. Tell us a little bit about uh, how this class sort of came to be. Well, we know we needed a ranged class, uh, absolutely. A lot of people online guessed that we were going to have one, and they were correct. Um, but we wanted to make sure it wasn't your typical your typical ranger. Uh, that's where we started out um, a long time ago, but it's evolved over time into something much darker and much more sinister. Um, also, for the first time, you can dual wield uh, pistol crossbows, and we think that's pretty fun. And in terms of, of designing this character, I mean, what things, what sort of things do you have to keep in mind in terms of balance and making sure that, you know, while it's a ranged character, that it has other sort of weaknesses to sort of compensate for its ranged ability? Well, she's very mobile and light. Uh, we wanted to make sure that she had a different kit than the wizard. Um, so we focused a lot on uh, traps, which is, you know, preparation, uh, the ability to stay mobile, uh, dance around. Um, and she has a very wide variety of, uh, of ranged attacks, but she's a little bit more anal analogous to the monk um, in the way she moves. And can you talk a little bit about uh, sort of um, where this class sort of fits in the mythology of the, the Diablo universe? Uh, yeah. Um, it Demon hunters are not born into the world, they're made, so uh, they can be anybody from any part or any walk of life or any part of Sanctuary. And the other thing is, is that uh, they're a really good counterpoint to the, the big story, which is that there's a, a big demon war coming, a big demon invasion, unlike anything that's ever been seen. And so to have a class like the Demon Hunter that is so, uh, so dedicatedly pitted against the idea of demons is a really good fit for the game. How much do you have to, I mean, in terms of the detail of the character model itself, like sort of just the finer points of the way that they're dressed, the way that their eyes are depicted, how much of that sort of factors into telling the story of that character? Well, it's, it's a huge factor, actually, because, you know, we did try on a lot of different ideas, like having a demon arm. Maybe she's part demon. Maybe she's all demon. Maybe she's just uh, adopted some demon stuff. And a lot of that stuff comes across in the way that they, what they wear and, and the way that they move and, and just how they look. So uh, we, along the way, we made a lot of decisions about how to make sure that you really identify with her as a human rather than uh, as something that's like part demon or has been taken over by demon technology. And in the demo, uh, we saw some of her skills already. We saw uh, the entangled shot, and we've seen the, the bola. Um, I mean, how do you guys come up with sort of these skills? I mean, and how, how much does the design of the enemy sort of factor into what she can and can't do or what you want her to do? Well, certainly we wanted her to feel a lot more gothic, uh, you know, much more middle-aged. So we went with uh, kind of the Van Helsing sort of Batman vibe. It was really important for us to play up on the darkness of this character and this really angsty background she has. She's really bitter and she just does the nastiest stuff she can do. So that's where we start and it's really not hard to come up with fun ideas when you're coming from that kind of place. Do you have any uh, particular favorite skills that you that we know about so far? I, I like Bola Shot. Uh, I just think it's really cool, but her traps, um, I haven't had as much chance to play with as I want to. I know those are going to be awesome. Everyone I've seen so far has been a total blast. And, uh, and uh, my final question is, can I get you guys to not tell us when the game is going to be released? Absolutely, we will not tell you when the game is going to be released. Fantastic. Thank you, thank you for joining us, guys. Uh, stay tuned at GameSpot for more coverage of Diablo 3. Mm -hmm.